Oh man, we are back. Let's talk about more space guns. Those of you not daunted by our review score may well be enjoying the looter shooter that is now Mass Effect Andromeda. You've already got your base loadouts dialed in, but maybe something's off, like beating up Ket on normal difficulty just doesn't do it for you like it used to. Well, you're in luck, because after our last five guns you'll love in Mass Effect video, we reached out to you for your sick loadouts. And boy, did you deliver. Let's crank the game up to insane difficulty and look at six more guns you'll love in Mass Effect Andromeda. Give us the thumbs up if you want even more guns after this and subscribe to our channel, although I can't promise you I'll ever actually be able to find PB's backwards hand cannon. Oh crap, crap, crap. The first gun we dubbed the Vampire Laser comes from commenter Brock Nealon, who said, Use the Remnant Assault Rifle that shoots a beam with the mod that instant reloads for some health loss. Never run out of ammo and shoot a constant beam of get the f out of my way. We figured Vampire Laser, oh that sounds oh good god. This might be one of the most powerful guns we've put together so far. Mix one part Remnant Paw Assault Rifle and one Bio Converter mod that instantly reloads by sucking down character health. And don't forget to boost any health restoring stats in case you go a bit overboard on the whole drain yourself thing. Maybe to death. We installed the bio converter mod after working around a bug that makes this mod disappear unless you also research shield sensors. If you find yourself facing down a big baddie and too low on your own blood to finish, make sure to stock up on Cobra RPGs that can be found at the Angaran market on Havaral, and can save your ass just the same way it does in multiplayer. Havaral is a great place by the way to buy resources if you're coming up short. Next up for the budding space gun nut is the, in the words of Acadia671, Remnant Sweeper Assault Rifle with Homing Plasma Augment. It's on heat sinks, so no need to pick up ammo crates, and you can hit anything, even things in cover. What else do you really need? Acadia671 hits on a critical point for those taking on Andromeda at insane difficulty. You will both be taking a lot more cover and laying down a lot more blind fire than in normal or hard mode. This is where the homing plasma augment is key to hitting targets without too much aiming. Plus at some point you will run out of lead from the Milky Way and plasma from the Helios cluster. So always pack backup remnant weapons because they never run out of murder lasers. It goes without saying, max out combat fitness so that you're able to carry four guns instead of two. Next up, Scallon15 mentioned one of our favorite SMGs by saying, The N7 Hurricane, that's all you need. User Emro added, Craft with the Seeker Plasma Augment. Man, you guys really love your Seeker Plasma. It's a great recommendation, we went without it, but the N7 Hurricane rips out 925 rounds a minute. Out of the box, this throaty sounding dream has a bit too wide of a shot pattern. A pistol scope and investing points into the pistol combat tree can bring that muzzle under control. Combine that with pistol magazine mods and rank 5 pistols to get the clip size upwards of 72. Finally top that off with your favorite consumable ammo type for freezing or sizzling raiders. Now a word from our quarry and sponsors. We'd like to take a break from our user-selected weapons to bring you the Rieger Carbine Shotgun. This weapon is of Quarian design and is basically a cattle prod on crack designed to kill Geth. It is a dream against non-organic life forms and is a great weapon to have by your side in vaults. Rieger, because sometimes machines are dicks. All right, let's get back to your guns. Previously, we fell in love with the Scorpion Pistol and its sticky blobs of death. Commenter Juku Kunitoshi thought we could do better when pointing out the Cyclone V with Sticky Grenade mod. Roughly 80 mini grenades exploding on foes. Well, after a bit of fluid sack hunting, we finally caved in and bought them on Havarl. We had the grenade hose up and running. In terms of time to kill, it landed in the okay to moderate range, and this build has a bit more bark than bite. This one seems like it'd be a lot of fun, but probably in normal mode. We would like to test this build in our next video on the Ket Sonnet Assault Rifle, basically a minigun with a higher rate of fire and larger clip size. Let us know if you've had any luck with great sticky grenade builds. 
With that one not quite working out, we decided to stay away from the fray with a recommendation from Tyler Holdsworth, who pointed out, GameSpot, they're awesome weapons, but I personally rock the Revenant, Black Widow, and Asari Sword. With enemies on insane difficulty, you should consider minding your distance, and the Black Widow is the 50 caliber sniper rifle of the Andromeda universe. That tactical cloak though ought to let you get close, and the Asari Sword also plays into this ninja build, granting you a split second of invulnerability as you teleport towards or away from danger. You'll be doing a lot of both on insane difficulty. Those are some of the best guns you suggested for Insane Difficulty. We're willing to go further if you are. Put even more of your crazy late game builds below, and let's get the GameSpot R&D department cranking out more space guns. In the meantime, go check out our video on the latest patch notes to see if the googly-eyed problem was fixed. Thanks for watching, Pathfinders.